Hello, it is Cheap Nails. Happy News Day, Virgo and the Element. And in this video, I'm going to be doing cow print nails. So let's begin. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild dollar base coat, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on all my nails. You definitely always want to start out your manis with base coat because it helps protect your natural nail. I am so excited to do these cow print nails because before this, I've never even done them before. And I was like, how have I never done cow, cow print nails? And I think they're like really trendy right now. So that's why I wanted to do this video. And after your base coat is on and it is dry, I'm going to take some light nail polish and I'm going to go ahead and paint that on. And you definitely want to do two coats for full opacity. And that's what I did. I did two coats. I am using Snow White from Broadway and I really like the Broadway nail polishes. They're only a dollar and I think they're really good quality for being a dollar. And you know me, I'm always using white nail polish in my videos. It's just the perfect canvas and I love how this design starts out with just pure white nail polish. Okay, I have the first coat of white nail polish on now and that is completely dry so I'm putting the second coat of white nail polish on because we getting it fully opaque. And after these white nails are completely dry, I'm going to take some black acrylic paint and you can also use black nail polish too but I want to use acrylic paint because I feel like it's a li little easier to work with and black nail polish has just it's a more of a higher chance of smudging your design so I just wanted to go with some black acrylic paint and also I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm just gonna make kind of a whole bunch of kind of random shapes all over my nail and I'm gonna get kind of, I'm gonna get the sides of my nail and of course the bottom and just the middle of my nail and I think these I guess I kind of made them look like noodles but I think they look good I really like the white with black on it. I just like white and black together. I think that is so wonderful. If you get to do nail, nail art, I find this to be like classic nail art. You paint your nails white and you just have just a fun shape on them. Like I think this is, I think cow nails are so pretty to wear and so fun to wear and I should do it more. Like this is the first time I did them and I was like how is this the first time I did cow nails because these are gorgeous and fun okay I'm gonna do that exact method on all my other nails just take some black acrylic paint just write some basic shapes and do it all over the nail bed and then I'm gonna take which I'm excited about this I know I want to add something just a little bit like a little bit of bling bling so after I do that I'm gonna take some black and white well the I guess these are kind of silver but black and white rhinestones and I'm gonna put them towards the top of my nail so I'm gonna take some top coat put that towards the top of my nail and I'm gonna take a color pencil and I'm gonna pick up those rhinestones and I'm gonna put white black white black white black you know I'm just gonna kind of switch off and I think this adds just a little bit of bling bling to the cow nails because I, I don't know I just need some bling bling with these cow nails and I think these rhinestones really top it off you guys can tell me down in the comment section down below if you've done cow nails and uh, what you think of these cow nails I think they're turning out swell but first before I can go, we need some top coat on these things. Now top coat is really important when you're doing nail light like this. It's really important for you to use a no smudge top coat. This Born Pretty No Smidge Top Coat I, that I use, I got it for $2 off of eBay. It works really well and you definitely want a no, I cannot stress enough how you want to use a no smudge top coat when you're doing nail art like this because you do not want to smudge it and it is very important. And after I put this no smudge Born Pretty Top Coat on, I let it dry and it takes a little while to dry because it's not a quick dry. So it took a little while to dry and now I'm going to take and I'm going to put my quick dry top coat over that and this will just seal in your cow nails and just add a beautiful shine and it will be perfect. Also, I'm going to take a cotton swab dipped in some acetone and I'm just going to clean around my nails. Just clean up any excess polish that I got on my nails. Just clean them up all real nice. But these nails are um, all done and I think they came out gorgeous because one, they're black and white and I just love the look of black and white. And cow nails, I think it's just, the cow print is just beautiful and as long as you just do kind of a random pattern of them, I think it will just always turn out good and it will always be unique. So guys, again, tell me down in the comment section down below what you think of these. Give this video a like if you liked it. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video and this tutorial. 
You can click or tap the screen if you want to subscribe, or click or tap the screen to watch another one of my videos. I got tongue tied there. Another what to watch? Another one of my videos. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Anyways, I'll see you next Friday. Bye.